oh, hi, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I was busy playing my saxophone on this Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Today, since it's Easter, I think we should create a bunny. I mean, why not? Who knows how it'll turn out, but it looks pretty cool. All right, let's start today, as always, with news. First, I have a YouTube channel. Most of you know that. You can see me on my YouTube channel called Mrs. Blue. Let's make some art. Second, and most important, if you create my projects and you email me at jlpick at cps.edu a picture of your project, then guess what? I might give you a virtual golden paintbrush. So with that said, oh, you can't see my, you can't see my peeps. So with that said, let's give our golden paintbrush award today to two super cool peeps. Our golden paintbrush today, drum roll please. Goes to Emily and Ms. Cornus. Here's Emily and Ms. Cornus. They created their super cool Cyclops eyes. Uh, and I gotta say, it's pretty amazing. So on this Easter Sunday, my virtual golden paintbrush goes to the Cornus family. Way to go, Cornus family. Okay, now let's talk about what we need today to complete this project. All right, we need a piece of paper facing the tall way. We need a pencil and an eraser and a positive attitude. We can do this. I'm a little stressed about drawing this rabbit, but I know we can do it. And then I am going to use my handy dandy watercolor paints and a little bit of water to paint my bunny. Uh, and this is not watercolor paper, so the paint does not work super fancy on this paper, but guess what? We're making do with what we have, so it's gonna be great. Um, and you can, of course, color yours with whatever you want. Crayons, color pencils, markers. It'll all look amazing on this super awesome Easter. Okay, so we're gonna start by drawing this rabbit's head. And I'm gonna draw it right about here on my paper. I'm gonna leave lots of room on the top for the Easter Bunny's ears, cause they're large and that's what makes a bunny a bunny. So right about here, I'm gonna start just with a little, and I'm gonna kind of draw scribble scrabble lines. And I want it to look like that because I want it to look like fur. Let me zoom in so you'll really be able to see that. Okay, so I'm gonna go kind of scribble scrabble, scribble scrabble, scribble scrabble, around and down. And that's my first line. Super simple, nothing tricky. Don't get confused and think that this is very, very small because I have zoomed in. We still want to fill up our paper. I am just leaving room at the top for the ears. So um, this is not super, super tiny on the uh, whole size of the paper. Okay, now I'm going to go around and make those super awesome chubby cheeks. We're gonna put the eyes in here later. I'm gonna make those super awesome chubby cheeks on this bunny. So, oh, squiggle, squiggle, these cheeks are so fantastic. Then I'm kinda of gonna make the little chin shape of this bunny. And I'm gonna go around again. I could even go in a little bit more here. It's a good thing we use a pencil. Oh yeah, that's looking bunny-like, I think, sort of. Okay, now, I think we could draw the eyes. So the eyes are gonna go right on top of this line right here. Like we're literally gonna cover it up. This line will end up in the middle. And it kind of looks, I need to get a better angle. It kind of looks like mine is tilting a little bit in one direction. Let's see if I can fix that. Well, that's a little better. Okay, so I am going to draw right here an oval right on top of this space. 
like so. Just like this, a nice oval. And then I'm gonna erase the line in the middle. Okay, now in the middle of this oval, little eraser, I'm going to draw a circle like this. It always looks very silly before it's painted. Like this looks like zombie bunny right now. But have no fear, I tell my students all the time, once we add color, it's gonna look super awesome. So let's add some more squiggles of fur right now to really make it look bunny-like. I'm gonna add some squiggles here. And then I'm gonna come around. And right here, we want the big bunny schnoz, or nose in English. I don't know what schnoz is, what language, but I think it's my own special, special language. You know, all these little fur lines are gonna give it character. And then the line right here comes down and there's a little bunny tongue and more fur lines like this, scribble, scrabble, scribble, scrabble. I'm gonna make this cheek just a touch smaller. Look, isn't it a good thing we use pencil? I always make changes as we go. Okay, now I didn't add any fur lines on this side of the nose going up towards the eye. Oh, that's just too cute for words. Fur, fur, fur. I know you're thinking, uh, Mrs. Blue, this does not look too cute for words right now. This looks super creepy, but I promise you it's gonna look awesome. So there's my bunny so far. And now I'm gonna do scribble, scrabble, scribble, scrabble, fur lines down. Scribble, scrabble, scribble, scrabble, and we really got to add those ears. I mean, this is looking atrocious right now. And maybe I'll even color this in a little bit with my pencil so it doesn't look so super creepy. Ooh, look at that. It's starting to look like a rabbit. Okay, now I'm gonna add these ears. giant ear for this super eastery character. It's gonna go down like this. Oh yes, I love this. Now let's go like this. And when we add color to this, you guys, it is gonna be super awesome. And you guys know, as always, if you're changing features of your bunny to make yours look a little bit different, I mean, amen to that. Look at that. It went from like zombie looking bunny to A-OK. -okay. I can't wait to paint this. You know, when you do drawings like this, this is about all you can draw with the pencil before you just start using paint. I think I'm ready to add some color. So there's my bunny. Pretty awesome. Let me get my paints out. Okay. Here's this. And now just color with me. Color any way you want. Get out your crayons, get out your markers, get out your paints. Well, let's see. I think I'm gonna start with some kind of browns and oranges on the body to shade the body a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more fur lines in here with my pencil because you know those will show through the watercolors. Let's add just some more hair lines here. Oh my goodness, I forgot the most important part of this bunny, you guys. How could I? I mean, you gotta have the whiskers. You gotta have the whiskers. Oh yeah, look at that one, went through the ringer. Um, super cute, I'm gonna add some fur lines on here too, cause you know, it's just gonna make it look better. 
Uh, I'm going to give my bunny some little hairs up here too. Because I think bunnies have little whiskery hairs all the time. And let's give him some super fancy eyelashes. Sorry, I said I was done drawing and look at me. Get that pencil back out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, now I'm going to add some color. Okay. I don't know, you guys. I think I want some more whisker lines on these ears. Or some, not whisker lines, fur lines. Then I'm going to stop. Sometimes I just continue looking at my artwork and think of more and more things to add. I need to just let, let go. Let's start painting. All right. This guy is going to be so cute. I'm going to start with some orange. And I'm just going to have fun. Let's not stress about this painting. Let's just, you know, go, man. Let's just go. Let's just add some oranges, some Easter orange. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to dip my brush in the color. Maybe add a little bit of orange to the top here, some right here, some over on this cheek. And you do not have to copy me. I am just doing some silly, fun Easter painting because there is no judgment on Mrs. Blue's YouTube channel. None at all. All right, I think I need some browns in here. Let's just, oh, a little more brown. Oh, you can't see me getting paint. There we go. I'll move it over. Let's add some, oh yeah, I like when it blends in like that. More water, more browns. Oh, so stinking cute. More browns up here. Let's add some browns on the face. Round in here on his snout. I don't know if that's what you call a bunny's mouth, but hey, why not? All right, we're going to really keep these Easter colors going. I'm going to get some yellow. I'm going to add some yellow. Maybe there's some yellow. I'm going to add some shadows over here in the background. You know, that color in the background is nice. I'm going to add some color in the background here. Oh, I, I need to add more yellow. I like this yellow. Let's just get some serious. Oh, look how I'm not worrying about going out of the lines because it's Easter. And we're not worrying about perfection on Easter because we're using watercolors. More yellows. Oh, I'm going to do some yellow in here like the sun's shining on this side of his face. Let's just add more color. This is like Bob Ross painting, you guys. We're just going with the flow. Oh, hey, look, Pablo Picasso dog. Same as my tattoo. Oh, I can't turn it. I don't know how this camera works. There, there, tattoo, pa Picasso, Picasso. All right. Here we go, oh yeah. It wasn't even on the screen. Have you been seeing what I've been painting or have had this off the screen like a crazy person? I am sorry. Let's, this does not look very clear today. Let's see. Oh, you guys, look at that. That's so much better. I'm sorry. It's been out of focus for like ever. I mean, I don't even know what I want to add. Some dark in here. Oh, this space needs to be dark in here. I think a little dark in there. And then that was really dark. Maybe I'll add some dark in here. Let's get some blue. Because this is an Easter bunny and we want it to be bright and colorful. Blue in here, up in here, up in here, up in here. No stress painting on Easter. I mean, I don't really feel stress painting ever. I just always think it's super fun.
Oh my gosh, this bunny is going to be so adorable. I'm going to stick with that blue for a minute. I mean, why not? Let's get some blue in here. Let's get some blue on these eyes. Really make them pop. Yeah. Now let's get some blue in here. Ooh, I'll get some blue, blue around the nose. This is so cute. Give me a little water. Oh, oh, he's looking so abstract and beautiful. I think we need some red, folks. We need some red in the middle of these ears. It's gonna be a longer video today because I'm just painting with you the entire time instead of just showing you my completed example, but I felt like painting today, so, you know, sorry. See, I think we need some red in the body, guys. Oh, wait, I'm gonna squeeze out some water. I don't want, I'm gonna put a little bit of orange on top of the eyes, but I don't want it to smear, so careful. Do so careful. Okay, now let's get some red on the body. Let's blend in some red down here. Oh yeah, over here. Blend this in a little bit. This is just kind of extraneous shading. Um, maybe some. Oh, that was too dark. Yikes. Water. Let's smear that in. I mean, I can't even with this bunny. He looks so special. Sorry, I'm squeezing my brush out every now and then. That's why my finger's going over the screen. I mean, I always kind of save black for the very end because it's stressful, but I am going to use a little black right now. I like to go slow with the black. I hardly use any water when I use black because it can just be very messy. Oh, happy Easter. She's so cute.
All right, you guys, I should stop so this video does not take 100 hours to upload. Um, I, I, I like that bunny. I mean, he's super abstract and cute. Um, that's it. I think that's pretty awesome for our Easter lesson. I hope you enjoyed making this bunny with me. Relax, enjoy, paint it however you want. I painted mine multicolored for Easter, but you pick your choice. Uh, I can't wait to see pictures of your bunnies on this Easter Sunday. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson with me today.